Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about introduction of Arduino board, which is most important platform which we are going to use. Because without Arduino board, you cannot use IoT. So, in this session, we are going to discuss about which type of Arduino board we have to use and what types of various types of Arduino boards are available in market. So let us start with Arduino board. So here you can see Arduino boards. So basically there are various types of Arduino boards are available in market. First one here you can see this one. This is known as Arduino Uno. Right? Here you can see here various types of pins are available. Here one more connector is here on this side and here it is also a power cable this is known as arduino uno this is mega at mega here lily pad arduino mini arduino nano and arduino bt so basically we are going to use arduino uno or it may be arduino nano so for that you have to understand about Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano here you can see what is the difference between this remaining these are not using at the beginner levels so basically we are using normally Arduino Uno or it may be Arduino Nano but there is a difference between Arduino Uno and Arduino Nano what are these let us start with Arduino Nano here you can see this is the board of Arduino Nano here one usb cable which should be connected with your laptop with the usb cable here number of pins are available here you can see number of pins are connected on this board here this is the top view of arduino nano this is the side view of arduino nano so here you can see number of legs are below this board so various types of leg you have to connect now where we have to connect these legs or we can say pins for that you have to use breadboard on breadboard you have to put this arduino nano and then and then you have to connect wires according to your application so this is arduino nano here you can see this is the pin diagram of Arduino Nano. In Arduino Nano, there are number of pins for digital and number of pins for the analog. Here it is already written, you can see it. Here this is the plus 5 voltage where we are going to connect supply voltage. Here this is the grounded, we, have, we should ground this pin. <coughs> So this is basically for pin diagram. This is most important because you have to do practical with the help of this pin diagram. Then and then you can connect this Arduino Nano with the sensors. Now here is the introduction of Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is frequently used microcontroller board in the family of Arduino. This is the latest third version. That's why it is known as Uno R3. Latest third version of Arduino board and released in the 2011. The main advantage of this board is if we make a mistake, we can change the microcontroller on the board. The main features of this board mainly include it is available in DIP. DIP that means it is dual inline package detachable and at mega 328 microcontroller here you can see this is one type of microcontroller it is in in the center here this is at mega 328 microcontroller the programming of this board can easily be loaded by using arduino computer program 
विच इज नोन एज आडियोनो आई डी ई विच इज सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम दिस बॉर्ड हैज यूज सपोर्ट फ्रॉम द आडियोनो कम्युनिटी विच विल मेक अ वेरी सिंपल वे टू स्टार्ट वर्किंग इन एम्बेडेड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड मैनी मोर एप्लीकेशन हियर यू कैन सी द एक्चुअल इमेज ऑफ आडियोनो उनो हियर इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम जीरो देन वन एंड मूविंग टूवर्ड्स थर्टीन सो बेसिकली जीरो टू थर्टीन पिनस और यू कैन से देर आर फोर्टीन पिनस for digital so totally 14 pins are available in arduino uno r3 here you can see it is analog pin 0 1 2 5 so basically it is 0 to 5 that means there are six analog pins in uno r3 here you can see this is microcontroller in center this is it is known as atmega 328 micro controller and remember this thing it is r3 uno r3 because this is the third version that's why it is known as uno r3 here you can see this is the connectors usb connectors you can connect usb port with this side and this is power cable you should connect power cable to on this arduino This is the pin diagram of Uno R3 USB plug external power supply analog reference pin digital ground digital input pins 2 to 13 serial out and serial in so basically 0 and 1 is the serial in and serial out pins reset pins here you can reset your program through this pin in circuit serial programmer here is the atmega 328 microcontroller analog pins 0 to 5 so basically six pins are there voltage in ground pins 5 voltage power in 3.3 voltage power in somewhere you can find 3v3 so don't get confused 3v3 that means it is basically 3.3 voltage so remember this this thing 3v3 that means it is 3.3 voltage power pin then reset pin so this is the pin diagram of arduino uno r3 here you can see this is the detailed description of your pin diagram now remember this thing i am talking about here arduino uno r3 not nano basically we are going to use arduino uno r3 because whenever you are starting with this coding or with this iot so you should start with arduino uno r3 because it is for the beginner level then and then you can use arduino nano so there is a di small difference between arduino nano and arduino uno r3 most of pins are same but there is a slight difference is that in arduino nano you can find pins which should be planted on the breadboard whereas you don't have to use breadboard for arduino uno r3 you just have to connect power supply and usb cable then you can use uno r3 this is the small difference between uno r3 and nano so here we are starting with the power supply the power supply of arduino can be done with the help of exterior power supply otherwise usb connection so you can connect your usb cable to this arduino uno r3 the exterior power supply it is 6 to 20 volts mainly includes a battery or ac to dc adapter so basically you have to convert ac to dc so this is power supply number 2 v in v in stands for it is input voltage to the arduino while it is using an exterior power supply opposite to the volts from connection of usb number 3 5 volts it can be used to give power supply to the microcontroller at mega 328 microcontroller we are using 
to energize that microcontroller we have to connect power supply of 5 volt as well as components which are using on Arduino board. This can approach from the input voltage through a regulator. Number 4 which I told you already 3V3 that means it is 3.3 power supply voltage it can be generated with the onboard regulator. GND that means it is ground pins memory the memory of Atmega 328 microcontroller includes 32 kilobyte and 0.5 kilobyte memory is utilized for the boot loader input and output we know that uno arthe includes 14 digital pins which i told you earlier we are using 14 digital pins which can be used as an input otherwise output by using the functions like pin mode digital read and digital write this is the functions which we are going to use in Arduino IDE. These pins can operate with 5 volt and every digital pin can give or receive 20 milliampere. Number 8 serial pins. Serial pins of Arduino board are TX that means transmission number 1 and RX that is receiver 0 pins and these pins can be used to transfer the TTL serial data. Ninth one is external interrupt pins. The external interrupt pins of the board are 2 and 3 and these pins can be arranged to activate the interrupt on a rising otherwise falling edge. Next tenth is most important PWM pins. PWM stands for it is pulse width modulation pins. PWM pins of an Arduino are 3, 5, 6, 9, 10 and 11 and gives an output of an 8 bit PWM with the function analog write. Number 11 SPI which is known as serial peripheral interface pins. The SPI pins are 10, 11, 12, 13 namely SS, MOSI, MISO, SCK and this will maintain SPI communication with the help of the SPI library. In details we are going to discuss about SS, MOSI, MISO, SCK in various practical examples. Number 12 LED pins. LED using on digital pin 13. Whenever the digital pin is high the LED will glow otherwise it will not glow. It depends on your program. Number 13 it is TWI two wire interface pins. TWI pins are SDA or A4. A4 stands for it is analog 4 pin and SCL or A5 which can support communication of TWI with the help of wire library. AREF analog reference. A stands for analog REF that means reference pin. An analog reference pins is the reference voltage to the inputs of an analog inputs using the function like analog reference so basically here you can find this type of functions analog reference here you can see analog reference then wire library and previously we discussed about analog write here you can see analog write this so this type of functions basically we are used in IDE software so for that you have to understand software language so we are going to discuss about in details Arduino IDE 15th one reset RST pin this pin brings a low line for resetting the microcontroller and it is very useful for using RST button toward shield which can block the one over the Arduino R3 board. 16 one communication. The communication protocols of Arduino Uno include SPI, I2C and UART serial communication. UART it is Arduino Uno uses the two functions like transmitter digital pin 1 and the receiver digital pin. The pins are mainly used for UART TTL serial communication. 
18 1 i 2 c uno board employs sda pin otherwise a4 pin and a5 pin otherwise scl pin is used for i 2 c communication with the wire library spi pins SPI communication includes MOSI, MISO and SCK. MOSI, this is pin number 11. This is the master out slave in the pin. Used to transmit the data to the devices. If you want to transfer the data to the devices, various devices, for that you have to use this pin number 11, MOSI. MISO, similar, this is pin number 12. This is the pin in which serial CLK and CLK plus will synchronize the transmission of which is produced by the master. SCK pin number 13. The clock pulse synchronizes data transmission that is generated by the master. Equivalent pins with the SPI library is employed for the communication of SPI. Here you can see what is Node MCU. Node MCU is one type of open source firmware for which open source prototyping board designs are available. The name Node MCU it combines Node and MCU. MCU stands for it is microcontroller unit. The term Node MCU strictly speaking refers to the firmware rather than associated developer kits. So basically these are the various types of board which we are going to use in various practical session. So I told you earlier that normally we are using for beginner practices Arduino Uno R3. Then you can use Arduino Nano. So there is no big difference between Arduino Nano and Arduino Uno R3. Here in today's session we discussed about board then this is hardware session basically i am trying to say this is one type of hardware session with the help of this hardware we can experiment of internet of things so lastly i must say this various types of boards are heart of the iot without this heart you cannot use internet of things so remember this thing you have to study deeply about these various types of boards like arduino uno r3 arduino nano and at mega so that's it for today's session thank you